हेलो एवरी वन माई सन फालगुनी सोरंगी वेलकम टू अवर चैनल टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू अवर सेशन विथ क्लास ट्वेल्व बुक फ्लैमिंगो लेसन नंबर थ्री डीप वाटर अबाउट द ऑथर डीप वाटर हैज बिन रिटन बाय विलियम डॉगलास हिज टाइम इन वॉज एटीन नाइनटी एट टू नाइनटीन एटी वॉज बॉर्न इन After graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in English and Economics, he spent two years teaching high school in Yakima. However, he got tired of this and decided to pursue a legal career. Pursue any ki to start to accept. He met Franklin D. Roosevelt at Yale and became an advisor and friend to the president. so here our writer first of all he completed his study with the english and economics then he also spent two years in teaching in a school but he was fed up with it and finally he adopted a work as a advisor douglas was a leading advocate of individual rights and he retired in 1975 with a team term lasting 36 years and remains the longest serving justice in the history of the court the following excerpt yani ki part is taken from of men in mountains by william o douglas it reveals how as a young boy william douglas nearly drowned at the swimming pool in this essay he talks about he fear his fears of water and thereafter how he finally overcome it and notice how the autobiographical part of the selection is used support his discussion of fear now most of the time people always try to hide about their fear but here our narrator william douglas try to show and try to present his fear in front of us why because he wanted to present that all as a human being we have something we have fear of something but the most positive and the greatest part of our traits or our personality is that how we our overcome our fear so our narrator has also fear of water but how he overcome it let's see in the lesson it had happened when i was 10 or 11 years old as we discuss in this about the author it's autobiographical part yani ki the author itself describe that how he was so this incident happened when he was 10 or 11 years old i had decided to learn to swim there was a pool at the ymca in yakima that offered exactly the opportunity now at the age of 10 or 11 douglas wanted to learn swimming and for that there was a pool in ya ymca ymca full name is y for young m for men's c for christian and a for association so ymca full name is young men's christian association in yakima yakima is a place in washington usa that offered exactly the opportunity for the new learners who want to swim the yakima river was treacherous treacherous yani ki dangerous mother continually warned against it mother yani ki whose mother our narrator's mother continuously warned douglas against that and about that river and kept fresh in my mind the details of each drowning in the river and always whenever the narrator present his wish to learn swimming all all the time mother continuously warned him against the drowning happen in that uh, river which river yakima but the ymca pool was safe that uh, yakima river was uh, river was dangerous and there was a uh, many incidents of drowning so here narrator said that ymca pool was safe for swimming it was only 
two or three feet deep at the shallow end and while it was nine feet deep at the other. Here you can exactly get the area of the swimming pool. Two or three feet deep at the shallow and while it was nine feet deep at the other. The drop was gradual. Drop was gradual. If you try to swim in that pool, there is a step by step dropping. And you know that sudden dropping happened in that uh, pool. I got a pair of water wings and went to the pool. There is a normal instruction or normal costume they have to wear during that uh, swimming. I hated to walk naked into it and so my skinny legs but I sub subdued my pride and did it. Now the letter said that he didn't like to walk naked and so his skinny legs. 10 or 11 years old so definitely there is a normal age and uh, also like starting off adolescent age narrator felt uh, disliked to wear this costume but still he had and I subdued it yani ki, uh, lesson my pride and did it yani ki, try to learn the swimming now on this page you can see that the Yakima river and the exit different different points of that river the area from which that river passed and here you can say that our place Yakima. So that there is the name of city or place in Washington also the name of river. From the beginning however I had an aversion to the water when I was in was in it. Now aversion yani ki dislike. He said that first when I started to swim that time I had one dislike or unlikeness towards that water that started this started when I was three or four years old and father took me to the beach in California disliking towards water started at the age of three or four when our narrator Yaniki Douglas was three or four years old and the incident was that that time his father took him to the beach in California and from that age he has fear or dislike towards water. He and I stood together in the surf, surf, surf yani ki wave of the sea as a beach in the California so definitely there is a surf yani ki wave of sea. I hung on him yet the waves knocked me down and swept over me. So already Douglas was hung by his father, but still the waves knocked down me, knocked down me, Aniki, threw him down and swept over me. Like we all are also beach lover. So we can understand that the situation, what happened with our narrator. I was buried in water. How buried in water? Because due to waves, he knocked down. Aniki, he fell down and the waves uh, swept over him so he was under the water my breath was gone I was frightened father laughed but there was terror in my heart at the overpowering force of the waves the letter says that that incident I felt like near to death why because my breath was gone and I was frightened Douglas father laughed on him but at the age of three or four there is a terror knock in his heart and after then he wasn't able to face the water we can say that from that time he has fear of water my introduction to the YMCA swimming pool revived unpleasant memories and steer so introduce introduction of YMCA swimming pool Yaniki when first of all he started to visiting that pool that time he had very bad incidents revived revived Aniki brought back to mind to remember unpleasant memories and steer Aniki, there is a tremble thundering things happen but in a little while I gathered confidence in the beginning I have some fear but then with time I have confident enough to swim 
I paddle with my new water wings. Now you can uh, think like what is paddling? Like uh, if you want to swim, you have a costume for it and I think you have seen that. Paddle. Watching the other boys and trying to learn by apping them. Apping yani ki copy. First of all, I watch other students, other boys and then also try to do the same. I did this two or three times on different days and was just beginning to feel at ease in the water when the misadventure happened. What happened? It took the two or three times on a different days. I mean, he had visited that pool, that water two or three times and uh, at the beginning he feel easy. I mean, okay, it's not that much bad and the misadventure happened. Something happened. Which type of misadventure? Let's be seeing the lesson. I went to the pool van. No one else was there. Here, this misadventure happened. What exactly happened? In this para we have. I went to the pool van. No one else was there. Yaniki, he was all alone when he visited that YMCA pool. The place was quiet. The water was still and the tiled bottom was as white and clean as a bath tub. So, Douglas said the place was quiet, definitely no one is there. So, quiet place, water was still because no one is swimming inside and tiled bottom, yani ki bottom of the pool, it's completely white and clean as a bath tub. I was timid about going in alone. I was timid. Uh, about going in alone. I think if he feel timid, then he fear to going inside alone. So I sat on the side of the pool to wait for others. So he decided that I will not visit that pool again, but I will wait for someone. Why he thought like this? Because he had already fear of water. And he thought that if I, uh, I will go inside and something happened, who will save me? Because there is no one. So he decided to stay and wait. I had not been that long when in came a big brochure of a boy. Yeah, the word brochure yani ki, a person who is tough and aggressive and enjoy uh, fight or argument with others. So there is a one boy came like this type of personality, healthy one, probably 18 years old. Narrator was Douglas was 10 or 11 years old. That boy was 18 years old, so definitely uh, elder than our narrator. He had thick hair of his chest. He was beautiful physical specimen. What a beautiful physical uh, outlook with legs and arms that showed rippling muscles. It's rippling muscles, yani strong muscles and specimen, yani ki, example. He yelled, yelled, yani ki, uh, like uh, shouting, hi, skinny. How would you like to be ducked skinny? Skinny yani ki, as the word skinny used here also and here, here also. Skinny yani ki, thin. As the letter said that the 18 years old was uh, physical, physically strong. And in front of that 18 years boy, narrator thought that he, he, he was skinny. And the boy also called him skinny yani ki, thinny. How would you like to be ducked? Duck yani ki, Push or plunge someone's underwater. Yani ki dakka dena kisi ko. With that, he picked me up and tossed me into the deep end. Just that boy, that 18 years boy, stated that, Hi skinny, how would you like to be duck? Aapko kaisa lagega? Koi aapko paani ke indar fek de. Abhi to sifin usne sentence khatam kiya and he suddenly picked our narrator up and tossed into the deep water, tossed Daniki through. I landed in the sitting position, swallowed water and went at once to the bottom. What happened? He directly landed in the sitting position because he was already there outside of the pool, swallowed water. Definitely, suddenly usko fact diya gaya hai paani mein. So, he swallow water and went at once to the bottom. There is a force. So, definitely when that young boy 
that 18 years old boy threw him he was directly uh, into the bottom of the pool i was frightened but now not yet frightened out of my wits he said that i was completely frightened but when the way down i plan when my feet hit the bottom i would make a big jump come to the surface life flat on it and paddle to the edge of the pool but the narrator says that i already plan how to manage this situation so what he what did he do um when my feet hit the bottom i would make a big jump why big jump to come outside and to come on the surface lie flat on it and then paddle to the edge of the pool so there is a safe situation it seemed a long way down those 9 feet were more like 90 it was a sudden throw out for the narrator so he said that that 9 feet is was not only 9 feet it's like 90 it's so long way why because he didn't know swimming and before i touched bottom my lungs were ready to burst burst yani like blast but when my feet hit bottom i summoned all my strength and made what i thought was a great spring upwards summoned yani ki gathered when my feet touched the bottom i gathered all my energy all my strength and make a big jump to come outside spring yani ki pools i imagine i would bob to the surface like a cock bob yani ki jump so he thought like ki i was on the surface like a cock instead i came up slowly cock yani ki he thought that i will come suddenly upside but it was a reverse effect and uh, he came up slowly not rapidly i opened my eyes and saw nothing when he opened his eyes he saw nothing but water water that had dirty yellow tinge to it only water definitely in the pool without water what what you can see if no one is there so he only observed water water and dirty yellow tinge tinge yani ki touch of color i grew, grew panically panically yani ki behave very tense now wh- what to do to come outside i reached up as if to grab a rope and my hands clutched only at water he said that i reached up as i grab a rope rope yani ki uh, we can see that one string for a support and my hands clutched only at water clutch yani ki to hold if you are in the inside of the water and you try to clutch water can you catch the water can you hold the water no but narrator was panic he already said he was panic that's why he tried to clutch the water and come in uh, outside i was suffocating suffocating yani ki unable to breathe due to lack of air i tried to yell yani ki to shout but no sound came out then my eyes and nose came out of the water but not my mouth he said that my eyes and nose came out but not my mouth because he was completely like panic and uh, frightened and when we behave like this panically and frightened that time our thinking energy or the way of thinking automatically disturb and we cannot take proper decision and the same thing happened with the dog glass also i failed at the surface of the water failed yani ki waved his hands swallowed and choked choked yani ki unable to breathe what happened to him why he felt flat his eyes and nose were outside but his mouth not outside the reason was that he failed at the surface of the water swallowed and choked i tried to bring my legs up but they hung as dead weight he tried to bring his legs outside but he hung as dead yani ki jaisa lag raha tha ki jaise uske pairon mein jaan hi nahi bach rahi hai paralyzed and rigid paralyzed yani ki uh, not able to move and rigid yani ki hard a great force was pulling me under i screamed 
द ग्रेट फोर्स वॉज पुलिंग हिम अंडर यानी कि द ग्रेट फोर्स वॉज ड्रैगिंग हिम इन साइड दी पुल ही स्क्रीम यानी कि ए यल साउट इट बट ओनली द वॉटर हीयर मी आई हैड स्टार्टेड ऑन द लॉन्ग जर्नी बैक टू द बॉटम ऑफ द पुल लुक स्टूडेंट्स वॉट हैपन ही थॉट दैट वेन सम वन थ्रो मी इन साइड द पुल आई take a big jump and come out on the surface easily but what happened he tried to uh, jump but the jump was slow so what happened again there is a force of water drag him towards the water i stuck at the water as i went down expanding my strength as one is a nightmare fights at the irresistible force he stuck at the water because he didn't have much energy now to come out and his strength is like a nightmare fights nightmare fights and as we know like if we are dreaming during the night time uh, can we able to fight with our nightmares with a conscious mind mostly not so here is also irresistible force which he cannot control i had lost all the breath my lungs ached my heart had throbbed i was getting dizzy he said that like ached yani ki pain and throbbed yani ki felt pain in a serious series of beats dizzy dizzy yani ki faint or unsteady so narrator says that when i expanding my strength expanding any kind losing when i you losing my strength that time i also felt that i am losing my breath lungs pain heart had throbbed and getting dizzy and completely uncontrollable uncontrollable on his body but i remembered the strategy i would spring from the bottom of the pool and come like a cork to a surface strategy yani ki plan of action i would lie flat on water strike out with my arms and thrust with my legs then i would get to the edge of the pool and be safe but again he tried to collect all his force i would lie flat on the water strike out with my arms and thrust thrust yani ki hit with force of my legs and then i would get to the edge of the pool and be safe i went down down endlessly he had strategy he has planned like this guy would do like this to save myself but it strategy remain strategy there is no action i went down down endlessly i opened my eyes nothing but water with a yellow glow dark water that one could not see through only dark water and except water no one can see anything and then seer struck terror seized me terror that knows no understanding terror that knows no control terror that no one can understand who has not experienced it the narrator said that after then the feeling was unexplainable why because and the seer yani ki tremble struck terror seized me frightened him terror that knows no understand terror that knows no control and terror that no one can understand who has not experienced sometimes we say na only i can understand because only i felt it because if no one ever happen or no one ever experience this type of situation inside the pool so no one can understand the dog glass situation i was shrinking under water i was paralyzed under water stiff rigid with fear and it is says that i was shrinking under the water sinking and trembling i was paralyzed paralyzed and unable to do movement under water stiff rigid with fear stiff yani ki stuck rigid yani ki hard with the fear 
as I told you now, whenever our fear is heavier on our, our mind, that time we lose the capacity to think right and proper or logically. The same thing happened with narrator also. Even the screams in my throat were frozen. He tried to scream, he tried to shout, but the voice only frozen in his throat. Only my heart and the pounding in my head said that I was still alive. The heartbeat of the narrator and the pondering in my mind, the thinking in his mind said that he was still alive. Otherwise, all the body parts were like exactly paralyzed person. And then in the midst of the terror came a touch of reason. I must remember to jump when I hit the bottom. At last I felt the tiles under me. My toes reach out as if to grab them. I jump with everything I had. But again, there is a one more effort. And he said that in the midst of the terror, midst of the terror, yani ki in between of the terror, came a touch of reason. This is something which gave him, gave him a hope to come outside. And that was, I must remember to jump when I hit the bottom. At last I felt the tiles under me. There is a, he was nearer to tiles. And my toes reach out as if to grab them. Yani ki, the toes, uh, his dog glass toes was nearer to that tiles. And I jumped with everything I had. And again, with the support of that tiles, he forcefully jumped to come outside. But the jump made no difference. The watcher was still around me. He tried, but the force wasn't sufficient or enough. So he was again in the water only. He was failed to come outside. I looked for ropes, ladders, water wings, nothing. Nothing but water. A mass of yellow water held me. Stark terror took and even deeper hold on me like a great charge of electricity. I shook and trembled, trembled with fright. My arms wouldn't move, my legs wouldn't move. I tried to call for help, to call for mother. Nothing happened. Douglas says that at the second trial, when he tried to come out and when he tried for the hope, he could get something in a form of ropes, ladder or water wings. But there was nothing, only and only water. And the mass of yellow water held me, catch dog glass and start terror took an even deeper hold on me. Like start terror, that negative thinking hold the dog glass more deeper. And like a great charge of electricity, I shook, yani ki dog glass shook and trembled with fright and his arms wouldn't move and his legs wouldn't move and he wanted to call his mother for help but nothing happened and when then strangely there was a light i was coming out of the awful yellow water at least my eyes were my nose was almost out too but suddenly douglas says that there was a light light of hope and finally that awful and dreadful yellow water there is hope to come outside of that yellow water. At least my eyes were, my nose was almost out too. And he felt that his eyes and nose were outside. Then I started down. At third time, I sucked for air and got water. The yellowish light was going out. And at the third attempt to come outside, he felt that he sucked water. Uh, he tried to suck air, but instead of it, he got water. And the, all the yellowish light which he saw was going away. Then all efforts ceased, ceased, Yaniki, stop. I relaxed, even my legs felt limp and the black. Blackness swept over my brain. It wiped out fear. It wiped out terror. There was no more panic. It was quiet and peaceful.
Nothing to be afraid of. This is nice. To be drowsy. To go to sleep. No need to jump. Too tired to jump. It's nice to be carried gently. To float along in space. Tender arms around me. Tender arms like mothers. Now I must go to sleep. Now Douglas says that at the third item, finally when he uh, sees up, that time he decided to be relaxed and his legs felt limp. No movement, blankness in, uh, in his mind, wiped out all the fears. Wiped out all the Take away all the fear. Wiped out all the terrors. No more panic. Only his mind in complete rest, complete peace. Nothing to be afraid of because no terror. No fearfulness. This is nice stage, nice, nice time to be drowsy, to be sleepy. No need to jump because he was completely get rid of all the attempts. Too tired to jump. It's nice to be carried away, carried gently by the water. The float alone in uh, space. Tender arms. He felt tender arms around him in this tender arms like mothers. Now I must go to sleep. I must go to sleep. And again, I must going to die. I crossed to oblivion and then curtain of life fell. Curtain of life fell. It means there is a life came, came to an end. Finally, he is near to his death. The next, I remember I was lying on my stomach beside the pool vomiting. The tram that threw me, it was saying, but I was only fooling. Someone said, the kid nearly died. Be all right now. Let's carry him to the locker room. When this last memories was in his mind that he was just at the near of his death. But after few time when he was again in awake situation, that time he felt that he was lying on his be uh, stomach beside the pool and uh, vomiting. Why vomiting? Because he swallowed water instead of air and he throwing out that water outside. The champ, the 18 years old boy whom threw him inside the pool, he was saying that he was just trying to be full Douglas. Someone said the kid nearly died. Be all right. Someone in the many person were there when the dog glass was outside. So they said that okay, the kids was nearly died, but right now all okay, all good. Let's carry him to the locker room. Yaniki restroom. Several hours later, I walked home. I was weak and tremble. I soak and carried when I lay on my bed. I couldn't eat. That night, for days haunting fear, was in my heart. The slightest expression upset me, making me wobbly in the knees and sick to my stomach. After that incident, narrator was at his home, but he felt very weak and trembling, weak by physically and trembling by heart, because it was nearly end of the life situation. I soak and carried when I lay on my bed. He couldn't eat that night due to terror. And for many days it was haunting terror in his heart. The slightest pressure or force upset him, making him verbal yaniki trembling in his knees and sick to my stomach. Yaniki there is a uh, stomach ache or sick to my stomach yaniki. Do not have dare to uh, reach or control on that fear. I never went back to the pool. I feared water. I avoid it whenever I could. Now first experience with his father at the age of 4 or 5 years old and second experience at the age of 10 or 11 when he himself felt it and after many few years the same. The condition, the fear of water remain as it is. So a few years later when I came to know the water of the cascades, cascades yani ki waterfall, I wanted to get into them and whenever I did, 
whether I was bathing the Titan of Bumping River or bathing in warm lake of the Goat Rocks. The terror that had sized me in the pool would come back. It would take possession of me completely. My legs would become paralyzed. Icy horror would grab my heart. Douglas said that after two bad experiences, first at the age of four and five, second at the age of 10 or 11. Now he was completely gatry that he decided that he will not going to visit any water site. And whether during that time he also visited the Titan of or Bumping River or bathing in the warm lake, but he never tried to swim. Because it would take possession, yani ki ownership of terror on Douglas. And whenever he think even to swim, his legs wouldn't support him. And it felt like paralyzed. Paralyzed, yani ki, uh, no movement. An icy horror. Icy horror because the both experience was bad for them, uh, him. So, this handicap stayed with me as the years rolled by in the canoes of Maine, lakes fishing for landlocked salmon. So this handicap stayed, handicap yani ki the terror of water stayed with him, years rolled and canoes, canoes yani ki small boat. Whenever he visited that main lake, that time he tried to uh, boat riding but still the fear of water seized him to do it. Bass fishing in the new hemisphere, trout fishing on the deserts and metalliers in Oregon, fishing for salmon or the in the California. At the bumping lake in the Cascades, wherever I went, the haunting fear of the water followed me. After that, narrator Yaniki Douglas visited many different places, but every place whenever he visited, he felt that haunting terror. It ruined my fishing trips, ruin Yaniki, that waste my fishing trips, deprived me of the joy of canoeing, boating and swimming, deprived Yaniki get rid to take away from all the joy of canoeing, yani ki boat riding, boating and swimming and fishing also because all the things are directly connected with the water. I used every way I knew to overcome this fear but it held me firmly in its grip. Douglas says that I am not completely give up with my terror. All the time I try to overcome but that terror of water firmly grip yani ki hold me finally one october i decided to get an instructor and learn to swim instructor yani ki trainer to learn swimming i went to a pool and practiced five days a week and hour each day so finally douglas find a instructor or trainer who taught him to swim and in a week as we know in one week seven days so in five days he used to practice in each day one hour and the instructor put belt around me belt to control his body a rope attached to the belt went through a pulley that ran on an overhead cable why he used belt because whenever that dog last tried to swim or try to go inside of the water that belt control him to drowsy cable yani ki rope he, he held on to the end of the rope and we went back and forth back and forth across the pool back and forth yani ki go inside the water and come outside the water over after hour day after day week after week on each trip across the pool, a beat of the panic sized me. Every hour, every week, every day, Douglas tried to overcome it. But every time, the little bit of terror sized me, and he controlled him. Each time, the instructor relaxed his hold on the rope and I went 
अंदर सम ऑफ द ओल्ड टैरर रिटेन एंड माई लेग्स फ्रोज एवरी टाइम एज अ फ्रेंक इंस्ट्रक्टर और ट्रेनर ही ट्राई टू रिलैक्स द ग्लास इन डिफरेंट मोमेंट ऑफ स्विमिंग बट ईच टाइम द ओल्ड टैरर रिटेन इन हीज हार्ट एंड माइंड एंड हीज लेग्स कंप्लीटली फ्रोजन एंड स्टॉप हिम टू स्विम it was 3 months before the tension began to slack then he taught me to put my face under water and exhale and to rise my nose and inhale finally as he uh, said that he started this act from october after 3 months october november and december instructor thought to do something new with him so he said that the tension began to slack slack yani ki reduce the instructor found new way to teach him swimming so first lesson was that i uh, put his face under the water and exhale and to raise my nose and inhale yani ki he taught how to breathe under the water i repeated the exercise hundreds of times let us say that he repeated this inhale and ex- exhale breathing pattern 100 of time why 100 of time to become master of it bit by bit i said part of the panic that seized me and when my head went under water said yani ki removed every time when he tried to learn this and tried to do on perf- with perfection the panic control his heart and mind but still he continued next he held me at the side of the pool and held me kick with my legs for weeks i did just that so new technique a new technique was that kick with my legs and for weeks he did it at first my legs refused to work but they gradually relaxed as with the earlier experience whenever he tried to swim his legs felt like frozen and same thing happened with the new trick but after few weeks that legs uh, also support douglas mind for swimming and finally i could command them command them yani ki control them thus piece by piece he built a swimmer he yani ki instructor piece by piece and again smaller parts after one trick to another finally douglas trained as a complete swimmer and when he had perfected each piece he put them together into an integrated whole douglas said that when the trainer was confident enough that now douglas is good in each piece he put all the piece together and decided that he will throw douglas for a complete swimming position in april he said now you can swim dive off and swim the length of the pool crawl stroke so the journey started from that october after 6 month in april instructor said that now you can swim in the length of the pool crawl stroke yani ki you can also do different strokes at a time i did and the instructor was finished yani ki they started for this stroke narrator and instructor but i was not finished i still wondered if i would be terror striking when i was alone in the pool both started that crawl stroke the instructor was already finished to a glass couldn't because again the terror awake in his mind and he thought that what happened if the terror strike in again in the middle of the pool who will save me because no one the instructor wasn't enough time to all the time he was with douglas i tried it i swam the length up and down tiny vestige of the old terror would return tiny vestige any ki tiny ideas tiny terror of that fear come again but now i could frown and say to that terror trying to scare me ah 
well here you here's to you look and off i would go to for another land of the pool brown yani ki phrasal expression so douglas said that whenever that uh, terror try to seize me up that time with my facial expression i said that trying to scare me okay go ahead i am also here now it's your, your turn to stop me to do swimming this went on until july so again friends that's time to start swimming on october after, after april the instructor try to teach him in pieces and in july he was no exactly how to swim all alone but i was still not satisfied i was not sure that all the terrors had left now douglas wanted to be a complete and perfect swimmer but in july he wasn't sufficient that i am good enough to swim all the type of stroke so he went to lake wentworth in new hemisphere the na- name of the lake wentworth dived off a dock of triggs island and swam into miles across the lake to stampack island he visited different places to get read and to overcome his fear of water and to make sure himself that i am perfect swimmer and swim at any place i swam the crawl breast stroke side stroke and back stroke these are different types of stroke in swimming the students who ever knew how to swim i think they are completely aware with the types of uh, stroke so he tried all the stroke at a time only once did the terror return when i was in the midst of the lake i put my face under and saw nothing but bottomless water no glass said that during my this swim once i felt that old terror when when i when my face was under the water and i could see only water that time the old fear strike me back the old sensation return in many many are yani in small part i laughed and said well mr terror what to, what do you think you can do to me i fled and i swam on but right now douglas was confident enough to swim so he said that well mr terror whatever you want to do with me do i am busy with my swimming and after this he fled and swam on yani he continue with his swimming yet i had residual doubts yani ki little bits doubts at my first opportunity i hurried west went up the titan to conrad meadows and the conrad creek trails to meet gracial and cramped in the high meadows by the side of warm lake now this one is the third attempt from the douglas to make sure or to give confidence to himself he visited that titan to conrad meadows and swim at the different places with the different positions the next morning i stripped dive into the lake and swam across to the other shore and lake back just as doc cropner used to do doc cropner was a well known swimmer swimmer and exactly doc glass tried all the strokes and swim like him i shouted with joy and gilbert peak returned the echo gilbert peak is a there is a peak on a mountain and it's also echo sound here it means we can also say that give strength to douglas okay, yes you can do it i had conquered my fear of water conquer yani to win the experience had a deep meaning for me as only those who have known start terror and conquer it can appreciate as in the beginning of the lesson douglas says that only one can understand who felt drowning like situation at the end of the lesson the same thing repeated by the douglas with a different sentence 
a different statement that only one can understand the winning feeling the person who had himself experienced the terror and conquered on it in death there is peace there is terror only in the fear of death as roosevelt knew when he said all we have to fear is fear itself douglas said that once a roosevelt stated a beautiful sentence it was that all we have the fear of fear itself yani ki agar hamara dimag mein ek fear fit hai ki chalo mujhe pani se fear hai ya height se fear hai agar hum jab tak hamare mind ko control nahi karenge wo fear hamare sath hi chalega usne example diya hai death there is fear a peace we are always scared we have always terror for death ki hum log ke marne se hamesha hum log ko dar lagta hai ki mar gaye to kya hoga lekin marne ke baad kya hota hai kuch nahi peace and peace so fear of terror is all exactly like this because i had experienced both the sensation of dying and the terror that fear of it can produce the will to live somehow grew in intensity douglas says that simultaneously at a time i have felt two experience first one is that dying and second one is that terror of fear at the same time i have conquered on it so i can understand that when you are near to death how your feeling your intensity say that i want to live and last para at last i felt released free to walk the trails and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear so here douglas also said that if as a human you can overcome one fear of your life you can overcome many fears many negativity in your life also okay students for more explanation of the lesson keep watching our channel thank you